I used to say, I want to travel the world. And then one day, I did. Hi, my name is Magnus Detmar. I'm a YouTuber here in Shanghai, and today I'm with my boy, Radio the Artist. Hoo, 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 ha. I'm Radio. I'm an artist at China. Um, I'm a YouTuber as well that does videos in Wenzhou. I moved to China because I wanted to travel and I also wanted to learn more about Chinese culture. I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to expand my creativity as an artist. My YouTube channel is about different topics and interviews of people and things that I do every day in China. The best thing about being a YouTuber in China is two things. It's A, it's ability to meet other YouTubers in China who are willing to help you and willing to teach you and to collaborate. And second, it's the amount of places you can see and the places you can travel to to do certain type of video. I think the most difficult thing in China as a YouTuber, uh, YouTuber is trying to upload videos because like the internet is pretty bad. So like trying to get a good connection with your VPN could be a struggle. My goal as a YouTuber is to expand more of my creative taste, expand more of my creativity uh, as an artist and to also willing to collaborate not just people in China but other people around the world who are also uh, creative and artists as well. My dream goal is to uh, pretty much merge of all of my media platforms together as an artist but also to collaborate and to expand more of my creativity with other filmmakers and artists who are also in the YouTube community. If you're going to start a YouTube channel in China, uh, try to figure out what are you going to film, what are your topics, and who are your audience is going to be, what are you aiming for, and don't give up in terms of trying to get your YouTube started in, in China. Being hilarious, being humorous, uh, be spontaneous, be funny. Uh, don't try to be too boring. You can be informative, but have fun. Um, you know, be a character. I never thought that I would like travel. I never thought that I would like come to a place like Shanghai. I mean, even as a kid, I would read like travel books and just be inspired of all the places I could go. And like, in my mind, I always thought like, I could do that. And so as I got older, the urge for me to travel got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then that's when I realized that I should do it. And so, I came to China. Actually, I wanted to go to Japan, but China was almost second on my list. <laughs> on my list. Almost there. It was almost there. <laughs> and the great thing, the wonderful thing I can say is that like, coming to China has been a blessing in disguise because I get to be all the wonderful people. Like I, I've met like, you know, Alex and Primo and, and Simon and Detmar and all these people. And I'm very excited. Like the fact that I get to meet these people makes me want to stay more and to explore more, more of my creativity in Asia. And so like, I'm pretty excited for that. So guys, that was Radio The Artist. I totally recommend you to check his channel out. He does some amazing work, especially on Instagram. I'll link everything below. Thank you guys for watching this channel. I truly love to, to make these collaborations with other YouTubers here in China. If you're a YouTuber in China and you wanna be in one of these interviews, please comment below and I would love to interview you. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys very, very soon.